もらうぜお前のフルブリング。てめえは殺したくはなかったんだがな。So as with most frenzy type characters, building them with SP and recharge links is usually the way to go.、Uh, but for this, we'll talk about his strong attacks. His strong attack one is a ranged projectile type attack.、Um, at some points in the gameplay, it worked quite well in killing multiple waves. In other times, especially with the ranged guard enemies, it would break their guard and continue traveling past them, dealing no additional damage. This is what I meant by the inconsistency portion of it.、Um, If it's like that with like all range guard enemies, that it just,、uh, by the time it breaks their guard, it's already past them and they're just outside of the hitbox, then that kind of sucks. Maybe it's a positioning thing. You have to position yourself you know, closer or farther. I'm not too sure yet. But、uh, overall, yeah, that, that can be an issue.、Uh, his strong attack two, on the other hand, is a circular AoE attack in front of him. It has a 525 AoE. This is the same type of AoE for a lot of boost skills in the game as well. As、uh, if we were to compare it to just an, a non boost strong attack, I'd compare it to Technique Tensa and his SA2. The downside for Kugo, though, is the cast time on this ability is on the slower side at 0.55 seconds. So, especially with Arankar enemies, you can see that、uh, maybe not in this gameplay, but I know for sure when I was testing him,、um, the Miranda Riders, especially if you are. Positioned a bit wrong, or you use that strong attack a bit late, or don't account for their own attacks, they can just like clearly jump over the attack, or even those like rolling guys, they can just like roll past you、uh, while you're in that little animation. So it's just something to be aware of. Whereas、uh, faster strong attacks,、uh, they'll obviously come out before the enemies can complete their own animation, so you don't have to even worry about that. And then his strong attack three, lastly, it has a 750 AoE uncharged and fully charged is a 900 AoE, so it's just under full screen radius.、Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of charged strong attacks、um, just because they're quite underwhelming when you're not charging them. For co op and stuff, it's okay、um, because you have you know, all the time in the world. Pretty much, but for things like guild quests, it's a real,、uh, real hindrance, pretty much, because you basically can't、um, cover as much area unless you plan out those charges, those three second charges beforehand.、Uh, so, overall, aside from his SA1, his strong attacks are basically circular AoE types with not that much range.、Uh, they're really centered like around him, and the key to this character is kind of、uh, positioning and You're not gonna hit much otherwise if you're just、uh, throwing out strong attacks randomly. So, you can also see in this video that he can run out、uh, of his strong attacks pretty quickly, and then you have to rely on your NAD,、uh, which is something you'll have to do. But on the other hand, 
uh, in my opinion, his Nash string isn't that bad. And other than it being a three hit string, but uh, that'll be something that'll be more discussed in the NAD showcase. So that'll be it for this one. You can see. So that was his 186% attack normal attack damage build and in all honesty it wasn't that bad in my opinion. Uh, his normal attack string is fast at 0.87 seconds, and the projectiles pierce with a decent splash that's AoE around them, so you're dealing a good chunk of damage to an entire wave of mobs rather quickly. Um, the biggest issue with this is that his normal string is 3 hits instead of 4, and the reason it's an issue is because with 3 hit normal attack strings, you need to flash that more often because the last hit knocks enemies down, and when they're knocked down, you can't deal damage. Um, outside of using strong attacks so um, the difference between a two hit or a three hit string and a four hit string is that with a three hit string you're doing two hits and a flash step two hits and a flash step whereas with a four hit string you can do three hits flash step three hits flash step and uh, the reason is that you're spending you're doing less attacks and flash stepping more with the first one whereas the second one you're doing more attacks and flash stepping less which is what you want you want to spend more time attacking and less time you know having to cancel just to prevent them from being knocked down but um anyway like this build it's not a build uh, i'd recommend to use in co-op and stuff like that this is mostly for fun but uh it's just something to keep in mind as a general rule when it comes to uh normal attacking and uh, efficiency for normal attacking. さっさと終わらせてやるだろお互いによ<笑> 
めえは殺したくはなかったんだろうな。So for his last build, it's the hybrid build. Uh, this was the build I enjoyed the most for him uh, because I really did like his normal attack string, even if it's a three hit string. Uh, I love the, the piercing aspect of it and that it can basically, it's pretty quick and it could just hit like an entire wave all together, uh, all at once. Um, and this was like a good in between where I can still use his strong attacks and when his strong attacks are down, you know, I'm not stuck with a weak normal attack string. Uh, I can still use his normals and it can still kill you know decently uh to to a decent degree um but again this is more so a build for fun i wouldn't recommend doing this for co-op co-op is dominated by high sp and recharge where you get safe fast clears uh but for single player play and stuff like that uh i definitely would uh recommend trying this out just for fun because i think it was uh the best build uh, for me out of the three here so that uh, anyway is the last build that concludes this showcase i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all later